let's see how this extractor can perform i used it the other day on an area rug but today i got called in to do two condo units they're both two bedrooms they each have walk-in closets attached to each bedroom so we'll do the walkthrough on the first one i'll show you what we're dealing with this one's got the newer style carpet You'll see at the end of the video, I'll feature the after pictures of the other one. I won't, won't bore you with the cleaning or the walkthrough on that one, but you'll see the difference in the carpet. This newer carpet style they're putting in is a little bit thicker. It's kind of a textured pattern. It's got those straight lines. I'll show it to you here in a moment. You can see it's been vacuumed, which is important. Get all that dry soil out first and then you come in and clean it typically i would use vlm very low moisture with the either the auric orbiter or my swirly i will continue to do that i just happened to fall upon a great deal you could see that carpet with the hundred dollars per unit i got a hundred uh, this machine runs about four thousand dollars i got it for a hundred dollars plus two other machines the guy buys storage units and didn't know what he had i guess just wanted to unload them so let's go this one's got three switches on it it's got two uh breakers on the left the two little white things you'll see but you have a power button which is on the far right there the gray buttons the one in the middle operates on off for your brush roller and then this one here if you push it down it's continuous feed it'll spray the solution continuously you push it up which is i'm doing and there's a little button underneath you can push to emit the solutions and the middle one like i said you push it up and that turns the brush roller on and the one on the right is your power button you push it up or forward on the top and it turns the machine on it does have an adjustment for the brush so you can lower it or higher it just like you would on a vacuum cleaner the beautiful thing about this it's an eight gallon i filled it up with four gallons of green dragon solution mixed it one ounce per gallon so what i'll be doing here or what i'll be doing here or i am doing here <laughs> is doing encapsulation slash CRB with the brush roller or agitation and extraction like I'm using a wand it's like a movable portable steam cleaning machine so there you go you can see all the buttons like I said turn everything off come over here you got a brush adjust adjustment and I'm realizing that I probably should have pulled the brush out and cleaned it off, which I'll do next time. Because the dog hair that was on the area rug that I did the other day, I guess got flipped up and into the pulled it up into the brush area. So I'm having to do a little extra vacuuming here. And if you do steam cleaning, you know it's hard to vacuum up with a wand. Any dog hair, you have to kind of tilt the machine a little bit or tilt the wand which is a little more difficult on this uh, stationary machine it's doing a fantastic job with steam cleaning unlike VLM if I come in and I spray it or I use my shower feed and I use the the uh, pad and then use a iron man pad to absorb the solution out by the time you're done you're looking pretty much at the finished product so it looks kind of bright and shiny and you've you're looking at the results with steam cleaning you're gonna see the greatest results the next day and that was one of the biggest things it took for me and my sons to realize is that when you're using more moisture and you're cleaning, say, a traffic area. Well, that traffic area was dirty and gray, but it also had wear. The fibers were opened up. And when you use more moisture, you suck out all the dirt. And it looks, you know, you're getting it clean. But when you're done, if you're not patting it up or drying it, 
those traffic lanes will appear a little bit grayer than the rest of the carpet, which is normal. And then when it dries, it's, it's difference between night and day. So I, when I used to do steam cleaning, I would always tell people, you know, and my, me and my sons would have to walk away from a job, especially white carpet, knowing that you know, we can't sit there and dry the carpet completely to show them the results. But we know because with experience and over the years, I've gone back into properties and back into homes the next day. And wow, what a difference. So steam cleaning does uh, show its best work the next day, I always say. At least that's my opinion. Those were my result. Those were my results and my findings. Some people may say differently, but so that's the same situation with this machine since it's steam cleaning, or not really. It's hot water extraction. I filled it up with the hottest tap water I could get. Oh yeah, can't put those triangles in there, and I didn't bring my brush with me, so I'm not going to groom it. I thought that would be a waste. But you could see, look at these results. Came out nice. Again, the next day, any of the heavier moisture areas where I used a little bit or pressed the trigger a little heavier, those will dry and be really bright and shiny. So I'm going to take this machine and do the next unit. Oh, yeah. I will continue to do VLM, though. I'm just testing out the machine and seeing if it's a time saver look at that and for these commercial jobs and maybe some of the hallway spotting it might be a good idea all those spots that you saw down here to the left gone this is the other style carpet so there you go that was my second unit appreciate y'all joining me to try this machine out we'll make some more episodes if you got any questions leave them in the comments Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications.